Stock up on caviar. 300 of the world's top bankers are defying the Western media and have flown into Hong Kong this week. Yes, Hong Kong, that famously oppressed place where no one is allowed to say anything and there's no journalism allowed. Except for the fact that we have like 500 regular newspapers and magazines. Check out the list of brave people who have flown in despite all this. This BlackRock, Goldman Sachs, uh, Citigroup, Morgan Stanley, UBS, Barclays, HSBC, Blackstone, hundreds of others. You know, they're not just sending underlings. Many finance groups are sending their top people, more than 90 CEOs and group chairpersons. That's the highest title you can have. It's the equivalent of, like, deity. The cast includes uh, Goldman Sachs boss David Solomon, uh, Morgan Stanley's James Gorman, Citigroup head Jane Fraser, and so on. They've all been invited to this uh, talk shop by the Hong Kong Monetary Association. By coming here, the world's top money people are defying the constant stream of fake news, saying that Hong Kong is at worst dead and at best a deeply oppressed city where no one is allowed to speak. The picture of this city painted by most of the Western media can best be described by a, a colourful two-word British idiom, complete bollocks. The FT's write-up of the meeting recycles the Pentagon-dictated fictional narrative of Hong Kong, which it supports with deeply negative quotes, every one of which is anonymous. Now, I know that all journalists sometimes get info from sources whose names cannot be printed. That's normal. But when the whole article is an anonymous attack against an innocent, hard-working community, you know that's deeply unprincipled journalism. But look at the facts. If this city and this country are as doomed as FT writers desperately want them to be, why are 300 of the world's top bankers here? The FT can't explain it, but I can. Hong Kong's money managers are now looking after about 4 trillion US dollars. That's more than we were looking after in 2019 before the US backed protests and the pandemic. Finance is Hong Kong's biggest business and we are good at it, and increasingly so. In addition, Hong Kong remains the biggest hedge fund center in Asia. And Asia is 60% of the world and the fastest developing region of the world. You know, that business is going to grow. Hong Kong is a financial tech pioneer too. We just finished uh, FinTech Week. And as Chief Executive John Lee said in his speech at the, the bankers meeting, our FinTech Week attracted about 30,000 financial professionals in person and online from more than 90 economies. The FT also regurgitates the lie about the draconian national security law. The trouble is that our security law is objectively milder than the US and the UK one. You can literally just read them online and compare. The World Justice Project has just published its latest rule of law index. And guess what? It ranks Hong Kong ahead of the United States. Is the FT going to print that little factoid? I suspect not. It's what is known as an inconvenient truth. You know, the Western media is betting against Hong Kong. That's never a wise thing to do. But the bankers worldwide are standing with us. My money is on the bankers. Peace.